Hello and welcome to Anna Scrap Corner. Today we're making this book and this book has 14 pages about uh, 4x6 each and this book is actually made from a single brown paper bag and this is the size I'm using today. You can use any size using this technique. And what you do is open the bottom, which I've prepared here. You flatten it and you cut off about one inch on this side. And you cut the side of the bag open so you simply snip along this line here so what we do next is we open the bag and fold lengthwise so this side here you fold this to make this edge here. Like so. Open up again. And fold back that original crease. Like so. And Fold this side here to meet this edge here. Like so. Turn it over and do the same thing on this side. like so, open up again, now you need to take some scissors and this crease here you need to make one cut from here to the center. Once again, fold lengthwise and push the pages together like so. And don't worry if your book looks like mine does here. Um, the edges a bit uneven like this because we're going to fix that in uh, just a moment so don't worry about that for now and now we're going to make some stitching holes um, because we're going to make a stitch um, stitched spine for the book and I'm working on this cork board here um, and uh, of course a paper piercer and I'm also using this design ruler from Tim Holtz um, which has these holes so um, when you use this ruler to to, um, to pierce your holes um, they become uh, perfectly spaced so we get our book and place the um, ruler at half an inch like so and then we pierce at every half inch
And there we go. Now, um, you get some thread and a needle. I'm using this cotton yarn. You can also use waxed linen thread. So we begin by going in from the side that's the back of the book. Like this. And leave about I don't know, um, a couple of inches uh, tail and we simply go in and out until you reach the top and now that I've reached the last hole here we simply go back the same way you see like this and once you reach um, the second hole here you cut off your thread and you tie these two ends. Now um, you remember those uneven edges. Um, now it's time to fix that. So get your paper trimmer out and we're going to cut all the way through the book and since paper bags are um, rather thin uh, most paper trimmers I think will be able to, to do this so cut off about a quarter of an inch and you may have to make several passes to go all the way through well, nearly <laughs> Same thing happens on the sand, so we just so now we have even sides, and we need to make one final cut. And that's on this side here. So again, about a quarter of an inch. And now you have 14 pages to paint and decorate however you prefer. So, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time here at Anna's Scrap Corner.